Hello and welcome to a short presentation by Wellbid. This isn't actually a review um, of one of the items that we have for sale on eBay. This is actually a um, response to one of our valued customers that has uh, been in contact with us recently. We recently sold this small ring here, a uh, sapphire, diamond and ruby ring, lovely little ring, uh, on eBay via one of our auction format uh, listings. And uh, the customer uh, having received the ring, promptly sent by us, as we endeavour to always send our items promptly, uh, said that he had concerns and thought the diamonds weren't real. Well, um, we were very concerned to hear that, um, because we always do our utmost to ensure that our items are described correctly and presented correctly. Um, that way that's a good experience and an A1 experience, hopefully, for you, the buyer, and also for us, the seller. And everyone's happy all around, and that's what we want. Um, Anyway, we said to him, well, you're more than welcome, if you like, to send the item back and we shall verify, in fact, that the diamonds are indeed diamonds. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he was happy to do that. So that's what we're doing. Uh, the username of our valued customer is P3P, and I'm leaving out some of his, his username there to, for his own privacy. But he'll know who he is, so he knows I'm addressing him with this video. Uh, and anyone else that's watching is more than welcome to watch. So there we are. There's the ring, and a little row of diamonds, small diamonds up the centre, there, and stones, but they're diamonds actually, like that. And uh, what we've got here is a Miz, Mizar Prestige Series 2 Diamond Tester. There she is, all battered up and ready to go. This is a, a, a test we bought ourselves, purchased ourselves from a very well-known outlet in one of the jewellery quarters that we often frequent in one way or the other and um, it's a very good tester it tests works or it works on the thermal conductivity of the stone testing that and using that there's my finger in the way um, using that as a means to test the diamond and here is a ring that we currently have for offer on eBay a fabulous ring this white, uh, white gold sapphire and diamond vintage ring, really lovely, but I'm just using this as an example to show how it works. Basically, what you do is pick it up, touch this little piece here onto the diamond, or the stone, whatever it is, and it will give a reading. Now, in the case of a diamond, this green bar, or light, will shoot up the scale and to the and begin to flash, did, 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 and make a beeping sound, um, and flash red. Yeah, that proves it's a diamond. If it's not a diamond, then it will either stay where it is, stationary, or it will just remain, or, or it will just uh, move a little way up the scale, and that normally indicates a different stone, um, perhaps a sapphire or whatever. I'll explain what I mean here. I'm now going to touch this on the uh, diamond in this ring. Now, did you see what happened there? Went straight up test the diamond very quickly because it's quite a large diamond. Now, see so that, that's the diamond. Now, the sapphire will not do that, but it will still nevertheless travel up the scale. You see now it travels just a little way up the scale. Yeah? Because it's a sapphire, and it's travelled quite a way quite a long way up there, because these are good quality sapphires in here. But anyway, there's an example. It doesn't go all the way up because it's not a diamond. Now, going back to our, our customer's ring, here it is. There we are. That's yours, P3P. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to test the diamonds in this ring. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in here. Now, if I hit the metal, the gold mount, it will error out. So just bear with me, but it, you know, I'll try to miss it. Okay, there we are. There's number one. That's a diamond, as you saw. Right, let's go to number two. There's number two, singing away, diamond. Coming on number three now. Number three is happy as well, diamond. Number four. Number four, diamond. Number five. And there she goes, diamond, number six. Diamond as well, 
And finally, number seven, I've just heard my machine turn off. I don't know why it does that. Every now and again it will do. I think it's some battery saving thing. But anyway, back on there. And now number seven. And there she goes, diamond. So, there we have it. Um, and that's for you, uh, uh, P3P. Um, tested there for you. All diamonds, nothing to be concerned about at all. And verified as such, as we said it was in our description. But we still respect your concern, which is why we've done this small video for you, just to verify these facts. Of course, <coughs> for um, experienced uh, individuals such as ourselves, um, you would we already know by looking at a diamond whether it's a diamond or not. We don't actually need to use a tester like this. And anyone listening that is also in, in, in the trade, or, under, or is a jeweler or whatever, will also understand what I'm saying. Um, it does help. Um, jewelers still use them, and it's fine to use them. We use them. Um, but investigation under a loop by someone who knows what they're doing will be able to establish whether something is a diamond or whether it isn't fairly rapidly. Um, but regardless, we respect our uh, customers' concerns and we've presented this to you here today and to the viewers as well. Maybe it was interesting to someone else to watch. Thanks very much.